know I'm not saying it very coherently, but I'm- this is because frustration nation, and I am a populace of it. Hello my people, and welcome to Dangerous at Any Speed. My name is Kelsey Pichike, and I'm a low energy- and I'm relatively low energy because I had an awful evening, and I'm gonna tell you about it. This one's just me being complainy, so... upon a time, there was a girl named Kelsey. She and her beloved steed were gonna go to Los Angeles. One woman, she walked up to me and she obviously worked at the airport. She asked me about him and I said, do you wanna hold him? And she said, sure, and so she held him. So she comes over to me while I'm trying to check out and she says, are you in a hurry? And I say, no, because I'm not technically in a hurry. I've come with plenty of time. And she takes the dog from me, not like rips it out of my hands, but just kind of you know, kind of starts taking the dog because I'd given it to her before and walks away with the dog and then goes into the behind the counter area and then walks through like an employee door. I was standing there thinking, this woman may have run off with my pet. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, I wasn't thinking many words. I was speechless in my thoughts, apparently. She comes back eventually with my dog and she says, that she had to show it to a coworker because they were upset. And I, assuming the worst, say, oh, did a family pet die? And she says, no, she just was having a bad day. It would have been nice to know that before she took my dog. We are at the gate. There was a flight delay. I did not have a direct flight, so I was worried immediately. And then it gets delayed again. Then finally we're boarding. Ugh. We are pulling out from the gate, and I'm thinking, here it goes, you know, we'll be fine. So the captain makes an announcement, and he lets us know that we have an extra delay on the ground. <sighs> but beyond that, beyond that, we're being rerouted in the air. It's gonna take an extra hour and a half to get to our location than it should have. I know at this point I'm not gonna make my connection. <laughs> Everything is up in the air. I press the button for the flight attendant and I look him in the eye and I say, would it be okay if I left the plane? And he looks at me very blankly and he just says, I don't know. And I say, okay, well, can you ask? So he leaves and he comes back to me and he says, they said you can. And I said, okay. And I just get up and I grab all of my stuff. And as I'm taking the stuff out of the compartment of my head, he looks at me and he goes, no, no, we're having to go back to the gate to let you off. And I say, oh, of course. I don't know what I was thinking I was gonna do. Maybe just walk off the plane and break both of my legs or make me use one of those slides that they say they have off of the wings of planes. I'm fairly aware there are inflatable slides on planes in case of a water landing, which both sounds very terrifying and also very fun considering there are slides. The captain comes on and he says, so we have a passenger that wants to leave the plane. I feel like I'm that kid in grade school that's being called to the principal's office in the front of everyone. After the humiliation of having myself called out to the entire airplane for being the one kid who couldn't sit still, the airplane starts turning around. We go back to the gate. <laughs> Turns out I am not the only one who wanted to leave. There's about five or six of us. I realize that I probably have kind of led a mini rebellion. So now I'm back where I started. Anyway, that's the end of my story time. Thank you for indulging me and letting me air out my grievances. I mean, I'm pretty much living the Hunger Games. I was that Plains Katniss. I was the voice over the revolution. If you enjoyed my Katnessness, give us a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below, have you had a day? recently and this is on day let me know about that day in the comments below the subscriber of the week this week is nate don't fly nate don't fly you are fly and i appreciate that you're a subscriber thank you so much for being a subscriber this week make sure to subscribe and comment to be a subscriber of the week next week if you enjoyed this video make sure to share it with a friend but if you didn't enjoy this video share it with an enemy so they have to go through all of the pain that you just went through because they deserve See you guys next on Sunday for pub day. You would think someone would know if they did it. I just looked at the pillows as if they would tell me the answer, but they have no answers.
because they are inanimate. So we've been told. Unless it's a Toy Story situation. I wish there were more Toy Story situations. Maybe there are and it's because I'm not a toy that I wouldn't know about it. Let's get back to my story. 